So beyond the very fundamental and core problems of me being super amb- over ambitious, naive, not knowing a lot of these scientific worlds I'm jumping into, one of the problems I've encountered um, is the Earth's core. So I'm trying to figure out this magnetic moon, electromagnetic sun, electric sun, and the core is going to play a huge role in this. Some people have suggested the Earth's molten core is actually a source of our climate change nonsense manufactured stuff. It's cooling way faster than expected. So, so these people think the cooling core affects the Earth's rotation, which in turn affects the atmospheric and, and the ocean circulations and, and global temperature. You know, they, they think the cooling uh, core weakens the Earth's magnetic field and exposes our planet to more magical solar radiation, magic as fuck cosmic rays, which they use as the reason why we have more volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Um, Some people have proposed that the Earth's molten core is actually a giant crystal ball. So they think it might be made of pure iron, and it spins within the liquid uh, outer core. This crystal ball might have a special structure and properties that allow it to remain solid despite extreme heat and pressure. Um, They speculate whether this ball affects the um, the magnetic field of the Earth and the propagation of seismic waves. And uh, that this scenario can possibly reveal secrets about the origin and evolution of the planet, amongst other things like help further explain seismic activity. And then some people have speculated that the Earth's is molten and is actually a nuclear reactor um, similar to the ones used in a, a nuclear reactor a power plant or submarine um, they think this core might contain natural fissionable materials like uranium thorium that undergo nuclear actions and produce heat and radiation they also think that it might have a self-regulating mechanism, such as a feedback loop or a moderator that prevents it from overheating or exploding. Um, These are some alternative and hypothetical views and effects regarding a molten core. Um, This is just scratching the surface, what I found very, very quickly um, when looking into this. So I I really kind of need to figure out some sort of uh, crust and and core and surface before I really try to figure out specifics and details regarding the concept of a magnetic moon. This isn't exactly a deal breaker, but it's it's a considerable problem and challenge that I'm facing today. Again, an open invite for discussions, ideas, um, thoughts. Where should, where should I go next? What am I overlooking? It feels like I'm overlooking huge, huge, huge things or something. And yeah, enter that naivety of mine. Um, thanks for listening and following along. See you in the comments. And uh, I'll be making another video for later today, tonight.